what if you could make your own paper bag journal cover that looks like these cool newsprint bags? I've made this easy paper bag journal cover from these Coles lunch bags. I hate spending money and then not using what I buy. I have been using these for ages and I've still got heaps left. There's a hundred in the pack. Here in Australia, we don't have these paper bags and you can see this is a six by nine and it's a little bit small. It does work. No doubt about it. And I got this bag with some Happy Mail. So I love it. But for me to buy more here in Australia, I've got to get them sent from overseas. So I've just made my own using these lunch bags. So you can do them like this. You can just randomly stamp all over the paper or you can randomly dissect them into columns and then just you know do it like that just put your stamps in each of these squares if you haven't got any rubber stamps just glue some little images in there just do some collaging that would work it would look really cool so you can use any recycled paper bag that you've got it doesn't matter what you've got and what size it is look look at these sizes here this is bigger so if I fold that in half, that would make a really cool journal as well. So whatever you got, you could use. Before I start, I'm just going to let you know it's pouring rain here. And where I'm recording, there's not much I can do about it. So if it's a bit noisy in the background, I do apologise for that. But I'm going to keep going. So I've got my paper bag and I'm going to just fold it in half. And I've got a piece of calico. I'm going to re reinforce the inside with a piece of calico. If you haven't got a piece of fabric, just use a piece of washi tape down here or uh, another piece of paper. You could even use a piece of another piece of this paper bag. But you want something that's just going to give a little bit of reinforcement in your spine area here. So I'm just going to work out how much I want. So if I want a, a little piece coming over to this side, because we're going to put it on the inside, and a little piece coming over to this side. So I'm going to snip just about there, just under two inches, and I'm just going to tear that piece down. So now I'm going to cut it the same height as my bag and tear it across there. So there's my reinforcement piece for the spine. So when I fold it in half, it's just going to sit in there like that. Now it's up to you whether you just go ahead and glue that in or whether you sew it for a little bit of decoration. I've got this piece here that I've sewn ahead of time, just so I don't hold you up. You know you're either a sewer or you're not. So I'm just going to use some um, fabric glue. The equivalent to this fabric glue is the Fabri-Tac. This is the Helmer fabric glue. So I'm just going to use my Sugar Bell squeezy bottle. And I'm, to make it easy, I'm just going to mark my outside line here and here so I know how far out I need to put my glue. You can add the glue to the back of your fabric if you like but if you do that you risk the chance of the glue pushing through your fabric. So I'm just going to add the glue to my paper and I can add it right on that pencil line because that pencil line is shorter than my piece of fabric. And then just put the glue all the way through this, lot, this area here. Just going to flatten that down. Again, what this does is it's just going to eliminate the glue pushing through the fabric. Just going to put a finger crease there so I can see my crease line there and the crease line for the centre of my paper. Now when you press that fabric down onto your paper, just pat it. 
don't push it down too heavy just let it sit there on the paper and while that's drying I'm going to get my pages now I've already prepared my pages because this is more about how easy it is to make a paper bag cover than it is how to make the journal so there's your paper bag journal cover it's got a pocket for the front if you wanted to turn this back bit into a pocket all you've got to do is just i'll show you here just put your ruler right on the edge of that bit there and then with your craft knife just cut that off and that'll open the bottom of that bag up and turn that into a pocket there for now i'm not going to do that because it is something you can do after you've finished as well so we're going to make sure that that is folded and we get that nice crease there you'll see by feeling that how much better that feels there because this is like i said cheap paper it's not that strong by putting that there you're going to make a better journal so i've got my papers ready i've got seven pages in here folded in half has made this 14 pages in total so i've got seven pieces of paper so I'm just going to sit them in there and fold it like that. Now to sew them in, you've got options. You can just clamp it here because the cover is the same height as my pages. You could use the three-hole pamphlet stitch. So you put a hole in the center, a hole about an inch down from the top and an inch up from the bottom. You could do the five hole pamphlet stitch and add five holes in here and sew that up. Or you could put as many holes as you like in here and sew from the bottom all the way up to the top and you would have all of those holes running out of, through the pages onto the outside of your cover. If you don't want to do that hand sewing, you could just open that up there like that and run this through your sewing machine and to do that you would add another clamp down here make sure that your center fold here is in line with the center fold of all your pages here and just sew through it like that if you're not into sewing you could just put a hole there and a hole there thread a piece of sari through there a piece of ribbon and just tie a knot on the outside there are so many simple ways that you could bind your journal and that's what it's called it's binding it's binding the pages to the cover so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to do the three whole pamphlet stitch so i'm just going to eyeball it this time i'm not going to provide a template for this because everybody's cover is going to be different so i'm just going to use my tim holt center ruler i'm going to put my zero in the center and mark a hole here that's my first hole and i'm going to come down about an inch from the top and up an inch from the bottom and that is my three hole pamphlet stitch marked then i'm going to get my awl and i'm just going to i'm not going to use a cradle or a phone book or anything like that i'm just going to put my awl on that first hole there all but close my journal and then pushing that awl until it comes out the other side then I'm going to do the same on the top. I'm going to all but close my book while I push the all through until it comes right out. Then I'm going to come down to the bottom hole. I'm going to place the all on the hole, all but close the book and push it through. That just simplifies putting your holes in. So you can see my three holes, both on the inside and the outside. I have not moved my clamp at all. 
Now I'm going to get my needle and thread ready and do the three hole pamphlet stitch. Get your favourite colour and I'm going to use the green. When you're using the thread, pull out about two and a little bit of the height of your journal. You can use a bookbinder's needle or whatever you've got that makes it easy to thread this embroidery floss. And I've got a clamp here to put on the end of the needle thread because I don't want that to pull through the inside of my journal. And I'm going to start sewing from the inside of my journal with my pages almost closed. I'm going to put the needle in the center hole and then just pull it out to the outside and let that tail stay just hanging in the middle there. Doesn't matter whether you come to the bottom hole or the top hole. So I'm going to come to the top hole and then with my book almost closed, I'm going to locate the hole through all of the pages and come back through to the center. So when you can't find your hole coming from the outside, put the awl back on in the inside and just re-poke that hole and that'll help you be able to just come back through to the inside. So then we're just going to leave that stitch, that long stitch on the outside. Got my thread on the inside. I'm going to miss that center hole there and I'm going to come all the way down and put the needle through the bottom hole, which should be easy to come through. Pull it out to the bottom. Make sure it's coming over your clamp like that. So you get that one long stitch in the inside. Then come back to the center. This is your last stitch. And then from the outside, come back to the inside. So what you need to be careful of here is that you don't put the needle through your existing stitch. So I'm going to do the same as I did on that first hole. I'm going to use my awl. I'm going to pull that first stitch out of the way. I'm going to re-poke the hole with my awl just to make it easier to find. And then once I've done that, it's much easier to push that needle through the hole. And if you think you've pierced your thread, which I have, take it back out and pull that thread aside. Okay, so now we've got two long loose stitches. I can take the clamp off now. I've got one long stitch there and two on either on the same side. I'm going to use my needle and duck under that long stitch there. So I've got one on either side of that long stitch. Remove my needle and then just pull that lengthways up the book. Close it and make sure that they're nice and tight on the outside. Once I know they're nice and tight on the outside, I'm going to tie a double knot over the top of this long stitch in the middle. And it's up to you whether you leave long dangly strings or whether you cut them off short here. And that is how you make a really cool newsprint paper bag junk journal. Now to finish this up, I'm just going to make it look a bit darker like this one. And I'm just going to use some vintage photo around the edges. You can do it all over it if you like. There it is all inked up. I've just done it on the outside and blended it in so the center of the bag just is still the natural color. That's on the front and the back. And it looks really cool. 
So instead of me adding lace here, I'm just keeping it very simple and I'm just going to add a little envelope in the side. And this is a bit big, but you'll get the idea. I'm just going to add this, this little raggedy and put that on the inside. But if I was to make a smaller raggedy, that would suit a bit better. The height is good, but it's just a little bit wide. And I've got a video on how to make this raggedy as well as this little envelope here. So I'll put the link to both of those below. So I hope you agree with me that this is an easy paper bag journal cover. Enjoy making yours and I look forward to talking to you in the comments below.